Resources and Minerals in Ukraine Now there are nearly 117 types of minerals which are found in the region of Ukraine 8761 deposits of industrial importance and nearly dollar 15.3 million output from the mineral industries in Ukraine uh, When it comes to mining what are the metallic and the non-metallic minerals which are mined here It is 7th in terms of iron extraction uh, It is 8th in terms of manganese Nikpol as we said is one of the major uh, regions sixth in terms of titanium production second in gallium production and fifth in germanium production again an essential component for semiconductor industries uh, then coming on to non-metals sixth in terms of kaolin production uh, tenth in terms of zirconium silicate eighth in terms of graphite production it is 13th in terms of power plant from power energy from coal 12th in terms of coking coal energy which is uh, there so those are some of the major things that we need to understand and definitely we missed out the most important one uranium 10th in the world in terms of uranium extraction now if we look onto the map of uh, ukraine again in this map as we could see some of the major areas where uh, the coal regions are there so Naipur Donets Basin is the area where you have coal uh, mining which is done so bituminous and anthracite the best qualities of coal are mined in this region so anthracite being the best quality followed by bituminous is found in this region then we have nick pole on the naipur river as i mentioned previously as well is known for its manganese production uh, in the region of lev it is the bituminous coal which is found uh, similarly we do have along the naipur river the kirvi ray which is another region for uh, coal production which is witnessed in the region of donets uh, the region of donets basin is the region where rock salt mining is seen similarly in the region of subcarpathian there is high amount of salt deposits which are uh, found in this region so those are some of the major centers as we said for uh, mining and along the naipur river uh, we also have the centers for brown coal mining then uh, if we look onto the historical perspective before the uh, separation from Soviet Union, this uh, accounted for a significant proportion of natural gas. So natural gas from Darshana, uh, Darsana to Lev to uh, Kiev was the path and then we also have another refinery which is located uh, in the region of uh, Kremenchuk. So that's the refinery where it goes. Now all these pipelines were strategically very important the extraction of natural gas uh, got significant jump after the world war ii and this was the region where the pipelines were laid down however at that time most of the natural gas came from this region and nearly this accounted for one third of the total natural gas of soviet union even after the partition the exploitation of natural gas uh, continued and uh, the uh, the uh, the doina oil reserves in the western ukraine became significantly important then we have a pipeline to kremchuk uh, which is the major refinery of this region uh, also we have seen that this region has witnessed numerous nuclear uh, reactors which have been establ established so chernobyl is now inactive however it was one of the major centers and this we have covered separately in our class on chernobyl disaster so just refer that uh, but yes Nuclear power again is essential as I said uranium is one of the major uh, minerals in this region and uranium uh, based nuclear power projects are important which are an important source of uh, electricity generation for Ukraine itself. So those are some of the major centers that you can see in this map for the nuclear plant. plant. So Rivin, uh, Helminsky, then you have South Ukraine and Zaporizhia. So those South Ukraine and Zaporizhia in the region of South Ukraine and then in the region of Volenzhenia uh, in, uh, in the Western Ukraine are the four active uh, centers, the four active nuclear power plants. Uh, Chernobyl is now inactive as we said and these remaining four are under consideration. So these four are the present active nuclear centers 
and these nuclear centers uh, have a capability to produce nearly 54 gigawatts the total installed capacity is nearly 54 gigawatts which is the ukraine's uh, uh, significant proportion of uh, energy which can be generated and it is 12th largest in the world in terms of the installed capacity so a significant proportion of nuclear supply uh, which of the electricity supply in ukraine which is nearly 50 percent of the electricity supply comes through its nuclear reactors now uh, with the ongoing tensions there is a huge need to actually uh, protect these nuclear reactors we already have witnessed one of the most significant uh, or mo most severe disasters rated at seven so only two of the disasters worldwide have been rated seven on the severity scale and one was chernobyl the other was fukushima so uh, this again makes it very very crucial that its nuclear powers are nuclear centers are not um, not uh, actually affected in this uh, tension situation so those are some of the major resources and the minerals that ukraine hold uh, extremely important for uh, coal as we discussed uh, extremely important for natural gas the natural gas pipeline the uranium centers that we have discussed thank you